He made mobs naturally spawn using blocks, entities, and armor stand randomizers. He made mobs naturally spawn using a timed randomizer. And he confused the hell out of you by making mobs naturally spawn with the stats command. And now, a method so superior and so simple, it makes me feel dumb for not thinking about it before. I present the ultimate naturally spawning custom mobs tutorial. For this example, I'm going to make giants and ghasts spawn naturally in the overworld. Now I'm going to make a ghast spawn for every five zombies that spawn, and I'm going to make a giant spawn for every five giants that spawn. These guys will not be custom biome specific, but I will explain that after I've finished the basics of this tutorial. So firstly, how do we count five zombies? Well, we need to add a count objective and then we need to set that count objective to zero immediately. And for every zombie in the world, we increment that by one. Then we test to see if our fake player score has incremented all the way up to five, and if not, then it will be set back to zero for the machine to test for five zombies again. But if it is successful, then the repeating conditional command block that follows will activate a bunch of commands. Now, you may have noticed that the machine can only test for zombies that haven't been found. So the found tag is added to zombies that you don't want to turn into other creatures. So you can add in this command right here, which will basically say if a zombie is within 16 blocks of you, it's classed as found and therefore will not turn into a custom mob. The next few command blocks determine where the custom mobs go. So in this case, we're executing from a random zombie and we are given it a custom name, which is arbitrary. You can call it whatever you like. And we're also giving it a found tag. After you've added all your custom mobs, you can then tag all the remaining zombies with the found tag so they don't get counted twice next time the next zombies appear. So as you can see, the system works pretty well. You spawn in five zombies, the count score gets set back to zero, and then two of the mobs are named. Two random ones are named anyway. However, they're not very interesting. They just have a custom name tag above their head. So we're going to solve this by replacing them with another mob. So first off, let's give ourselves a command block and find a spot where we want to go. So I'm going to access this and we're going to execute from all the zombies that are named Spawn Ghast. And then at that position, we can summon any mob we want with any MBT data. In this case, it's going to be a ghast. And then we are going to teleport the spawn ghast zombie into the void so we don't have to deal with that anymore. Now, if you want any tutorials on how to create your own custom mobs using the summon command, then I highly suggest you check out my advanced custom mobs tutorial and that should explain everything. And so as you can see now, using this system, I summon in five zombies and then one of them turns into a ghast, just like that. Well, it's no use just explaining how this works. I'm going to show you how it works. Please enjoy this montage, and if you want to follow along, the commands are in the description. Enjoy!
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, except for one thing. What if you want the mobs to be biome specific? Well, unfortunately you cannot make them biome specific, but you can make them block specific. So what we can do here is we can go execute, uh uh, type equals zombie, tag equals not found, and then we can say it, we can only want it to work if it is on top of sand, like so, and then we can just go entity data, at R, I mean sorry, at E, type equals zombie, C equals 1, and R equals 0, and then we can just do our normal spawn giant command like so. So, now that we've done that, make sure those machines are off, you will notice that these spawn giants, they don't appear. They don't appear at all. However, if we go over to a sandy area, one, two, three, four, five, you will see that one of these is named Spawn Giant, like so. And that's how you make your mobs block specific. So thank you everyone for watching yet another tutorial. Again, I highly recommend you watch the other naturally spawning tutorials if you do not understand this one or if you prefer other methods as well, as well as my advanced custom mobs tutorial which will help you build very complicated mobs. Thank you to my Patreons this month, Kyle and Patrick. You guys are a great help. Um, awesome awesome to see that I've got $9 um, for this month, which is fantastic. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.